Welcome back to my channel. I am back today with another video. And as you can tell by the title and of course the thumbnail, we are going to be doing some makeup that I already have in my stash, y'all. I did not buy anything new last week. <laughs> and I'm saying it because I went shopping last night and bought... Yeah, I spent too much money. But anyway, today's video is going to be on some makeup that I bought a while ago and I barely used. But I want to show y'all how I achieve my i guess you could say it's kind of like a bronzy glam easy very easy it could be everyday or even spice up to be glamorous you can go out on the town whatever you can even just go to work or whatever but it's very very easy it's probably going to be like three shades on my lid and a wing if you want a wing but yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing and i went in my stash y'all i'm trying to use all my makeup y'all it's it's hard to stay off of the makeup sites but Right here, these are the two that I got. These are from Anastasia Be Beverly Hills. And this one here, I'm pretty sure y'all already seen this all over the YT. I'm actually late getting this Jackie Aina palette from Anastasia. So this is the colors that I'm gonna go with, but it's only gonna be two out of this um, palette and only one out of the Riviera palette from Anastasia. And yeah, this is what that color story looks like. So yes, this is going to be like a bronzy look, y'all. I love bronzy, glowy skin. If you are interested in what I come up with, definitely continue on watching. Okay, y'all. So I'll up close and personal on this good Sunday evening, y'all. <laughs> I'm feeling good, y'all. I'm drinking my tea. I really should be drinking wine, but um, I'm trying to do a cleanse. But anyway, that's too much information, y'all. As y'all can see, I have my brows already done. If y'all are interested in how i got my brows like this i will leave the link in the description box below for you to go ahead and check it out i did pick up the new julius place product right here eye scope what's it is eye scope yeah eye scope eye shade and um this is new so yeah this is on my eyes right now and of course the gel that she um also released so anyway i already have my eyes prime y'all i was trying to use some older products what is it my urban decay potion primer but it's kind of dry y'all so i was trying to switch it up a little bit so instead of just wiping my whole eye off i just added some of this <laughs> on my eye this is the makeup revolution um cut crease canvas and i just put it on top because um i didn't have enough product in there and i didn't feel like getting up so hopefully i don't ruin this eye look before i even get started but yeah this is the jacket on a palette and i'm only going to be using two shades y'all in this palette and that's going to be first up ginger right here this is the lightest orangey brown tan looking color not really tan but y'all see it and this color right here this one is called edges this would be my second shade so of course i'm just going to go in and pat this is what i always do y'all i don't never set my eyeshadow primer so this is my way of setting it because i feel like in my opinion that Setting it just takes away from the pigmentation. So I always go straight in and to avoid any, you know, blotchiness or whatever. Um, patting it first to me always makes it go on more smoothly. And then I can swipe or do circular motions or whatever I choose to do after that. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to go back in this palette, and like I was telling y'all earlier, I'm going to go in with the next color, which is Edges, right here. Okay, and this is the brush I'm going to be using. This is one that I got from BoxyCharm. Um, what's on this brush is 1520. I ain't never heard of this company, but as you can see, it's kind of tight, it's, uh, meaning it's packed densely, and to me, this is more of a, uh, a blending brush that you can pack on the color. Right under Ginger. I'm going to go in with this brush and pack on edges straight across. And I am going to be putting a good bit on the outer corners of my eyes. And of course I am going to start swiping because I want to blend that color in with ginger. And I'm going to go in with, of course, the first brush that I use and add a little bit more of ginger and I'm gonna go back and forth and blend into I like what I see so I'm gonna go back in with some more of ginger okay so this is what I'm looking like right now and now I want to go in with this right here this is what I showed y'all earlier 
the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. And I'm taking this brush right here. This is from Sigma. This is the brush I usually use to uh, do my eyebrows and cut the crease and everything like that. This is the F70 brush. And I'm just gonna dab a little bit of it right here on the tube, just a little bit, lightly touch it, and add just a little bit on both eyes because I want my eyeshadow to pop and not crease up so um it shouldn't hopefully not not today we don't need those problems i do have hooded eyes and i'm pretty sure most of us know that um the struggle is real with the creases i'm gonna just buff this in a little bit more with this brush right here this is a good brush y'all a good dense brush this one is from marfita m 173 brush let me go just on top of it right here in this area to reinforce edges because I definitely covered up some of it. Okay, y'all, so let's go into this palette right here. Y'all, this is another palette that I have that didn't get much love at all. And y'all barely even had a chance to use it. And three of my eyeshadows just broke, as y'all can see, and I had to fix it. But nevertheless, <laughs> I'm so bad, y'all. Anyway, yeah, barely use this one, but I'm going to go in with this one right here. This is a like a peanut butter off yellow tan color this one is called cabana and i'm just gonna take a flat brush from marfa this is the m210 brush and just tap right on top let me make sure i don't have those creases again and just tap right on top of my lid Okay, so I want to take a, a smaller brush, y'all, and um, y'all y'all could use the same brush, but I'm just extra when it comes to my eyeshadow because when it comes to brushes anyway. So I'm taking this brush right here. This is the M506 from Morphe. It's a very, very tiny brush. If it focuses, come on, focus. And it won't. So yeah, this is what it looks like from Morphe. Very small. And I'm going back in with edges because I don't want it all over the place with that last brush. And I just want to blend that color in just a little bit on a top of cabana and a little bit more of cabana okay y'all so back into this palette and we're gonna go in with this one right here this is a white shade i'm just gonna take a little bit of that color and pop it in my inner corner and the brush right here is what i'm gonna be using this one is from morphe this is the m213 brush so right here just a little bit of that color in the in the corner just to you know make my eyes pop out a little bit more and of course drag it up and into cabana and of course adding a little bit more of cabana to blend out the white color okay y'all and as y'all can see i did go off camera and added a wing and some lashes so um yeah, as for the lashes, y'all, I got these from Yana's Eyes, as y'all can see here is the product case, and the name of these are on the back. These are called Confidence. I really like these, too. These are the first ones I fell in love from Yana's Eyes. Really, really pretty. Not too much, not too little, just enough of, you know, drama, <laughs> if you will, to, um, you know, to make your eyes pop. So, yeah, this is what it looks like in the case so i'm gonna go off camera do this eye right here and of course i'm gonna give you a little snippet of everything i use and we're gonna be back to finish this easy very easy eyeshadow look
looking like so far so let's get to these eyes let's finish the eyes and just in case y'all are wondering first of all about this cute hair y'all i did a review on this one a long time ago and i have been in love y'all i kept it obviously y'all already know when i keep a wig i told y'all that in my last video um y'all know i like it this is really really cute i will leave the link in the description box below for you to go ahead and check out this review just in case you're interested in human hair y'all this is human hair affordable from what i remember so anyway yeah let's finish these eyes so we're gonna keep this very very simple like i was telling y'all we're gonna go right back in that palette the jackie anna palette and we're gonna take ginger on a small brush like this this is from yana's eyes this is um i guess you can say this is an accent brush i use this a lot just to smudge out the lower lash line when i use eyeshadows or eyeliner or whatever whatever i want to smudge out this is a good brush And I'm going to use this eyeliner right here. Y'all, I barely ever, I don't think I ever use this one. This is um, Steve Laurent. And this is in the color Vogue. Hopefully it looks good with the eyeshadow, but I think it will. Let's see. And I'm just going to add this in my waterline. So I'm going to go off camera and add a little bit of mascara to these little baby, tiny, struggle lashes. Be right back. To finish off the lips, we are going to be using these two things. This right here is an eyeliner that I got from Juvia's Place. This one is called Brownie. A dark brown lip liner, obviously, that I just bent. <laughs> um, yeah. And, of course, from Beauty Bakery. It's super, super pretty, y'all. I haven't worn red lipstick in a minute. And this is one of my favorites to wear, of course, with that lip liner. This one is called... Cinnamon Chiro. So yeah, real pretty. More like an orangey red color. Usually not one of my favorite lipstick colors to wear, but this is really, really pretty. the end of the look and this is my go-to whenever I don't have an idea of what I want to do I just want to get out the house this is my easy <laughs> eyeshadow look that looks to me pretty good it gives me a bronze up glow to my face that I really really love like I told you I have the driest skin ever so I have to moisturize I have to use stuff that is going to give me you know that extra hydration so yeah anyway this is the end of the video like I was saying if y'all have any questions, any concerns, definitely drop down in the comment section and leave your comment. I talk back. I answer everyone. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this video for the third time and I will see y'all in my next video.